not many people know the meaning of the word autism or what it means to live with it. Not many people understand what it means to be on the autism spectrum, and which is why we, we decided to have a medical doctor join us. His name is Dr. Andrew Ugo Irueme of St. Patricia Care, and he joins us to explain basically what it means to live with autism or to be on the autism spectrum. My name is Dr. Andrew Remer. I'm a medical director at St. Patricia Healthcare and a general practitioner. And today, we'll be talking about autism spectrum disorder, popularly known as autism. Autism spectrum disorder is a psychiatric disorder that affects the ability to learn and to communicate. Most times, it affects um, the patient's or the individual's behavior. So to be on the autism spectrum disorder, you have to have a patient who experiences uh, difficulty learning, difficulty in behavior, and difficulty in interacting or socializing with other people. The age of diagnosis of autism is mostly at the age of two. However, some diagnoses happen later in life, some at the age, uh, their teenage um, years, some as adolescents, and some even in um, adulthood. Most cases of autism is diagnosed very early and there is no cure. So we see many of the patients that have autism grow you know, into adulthood with this disorder. However, we've seen cases where the severity of their symptoms lessen. But to answer the question directly, do you outgrow autism? I think the answer would be no. Most autistic patients we see often have um, symptoms such as difficulty learning. We have patients who are dissociated, like they separate themselves from um, their peers, from their family members. And we also see certain type of behaviors which we often call mannerisms, where they do repetitive gestures such as flapping of their hands or pacing back and forth, you know, walking around in circles, very repetitive behaviors. But the one that is most concerning and which you know, makes it more severe because it can endanger the life of the patient and also endanger the life of the people around them is where they, they engage in dangerous behaviors such as hitting or banging their head against um, a surface because you know, they, don't feel, they don't, often don't feel the pain but they use that to like, get attention and draw people uh, towards them. So these are most of the um, symptoms we see in patients who have autism. First of all, we encourage, because autism has um, a certain mode of inheritance, so because we see that if a parent has an autistic child, there is a tendency for another sibling to be autistic. If one parent is autistic, there is a tendency for them to have a child um, that is autistic. There is no known cause, to be honest. However, you know, these are certain um, risk factors that are often associated with the development of autism. In the suspicion of autism, we encourage, patient, uh, we encourage parents to look out for certain features because we expect that at certain ages in the development of a child, we expect the child to exhibit certain traits, certain social um, responses, such as smiling, such as you know, crying. But at certain ages, at the age of six, say for example, and the child is not you know, smiling back at you, then you begin to, that raises your index of suspicion and you begin to know that something might be wrong. So we want, we encourage parents to bring their, 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 their kids early for assessment. So we call these developmental milestones. And in autistic patients, we see them having delayed um, developmental milestones whereby they don't smile on time. You see uh, a child that is probably 12 months or more hasn't even smiled at the parents before, doesn't cry, you don't know when the child is hungry, you don't know when the child is in pain. There are no responses because of course we all know that kids at that age don't talk. So their only method of communication um, is social responses. When they are crying you know that something is wrong and when they are smiling or laughing you know um, they are pretty much happy. But when you don't elicit any of these responses, that 
you know, makes you think that there might be something wrong with my child. So at that point, we encourage parents to bring their uh, kids straight to the hospital and be assessed fully. And if there is a confirmation of um, autism, then that child will be um, referred to the appropriate physician, which who most of the time is uh, a psychiatrist. On the spectrum, there are three variances. However, the recent classification just essentially grouped everything into, grouped everything into one and just called it autistic spectrum disorder. Before now, we used to have three variants uh, known as Asperger's syndrome, autistic disorder, and autistic disorder uh, non-specified. But th that's just the medical stuff. But you just have to understand that once you see those symptoms that are suggestive of things not going as they should be, then you should be very concerned and bring your child to the hospital. Some children express autistic features in a way that they become isolated, they don't associate with you know, their peers. However, there are, there are some that are in school, but you see them, they have um, learning disabilities, learning difficulties. Regardless of how you know, your child uh, presents, it is very important for you to be able to identify these signs and symptoms very early and bring your child to the hospital very quickly so that you know a full evaluation and a full assessment can be done and the right you know treatment protocol would be recommended it is very important to to um, mention that autism has no cure however the condition can be managed throughout life so that's why we need to create more awareness we need to create more knowledge we need to create more information put the word out there you know, through social media, TV, radio, and to create um, the awareness and increased knowledge of this disorder. You'll find out that there are so many people um, in this in our environment, Nigeria, who are living with this condition. And oftentimes, or most of the time, you see there is a stigma associated with it. Many parents have, don't want, even want their you know, people to know that their kids have this disorder. So there is a drawback from them getting medical in, um, um, medical attention. So we encourage parents to give their kids the required medical care that they deserve. Definitely knowledge is power. If they don't know, then there is, you can't show support for something you don't know about. So the first thing, like I said previously, is to increase the knowledge, is to increase information, is to increase awareness. And I've been discussing um, autism spectrum disorder popularly known as autism and just to wrap it up we want everybody to be aware about you know this disorder we want everybody to you know have an increased level of information and knowledge about this which will essentially affect the way they treat you know patients um, with this disorder and those who are actually living with it we actually to come out and receive the care that um, you deserve To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.